Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Yun over at St. John's, and this is my good colleague, Dr. Kenneth Sachs, who is chief of anesthesia at our hospital. And we wanted to spend a few moments going over some frequently asked anesthesia questions and concerns. So we just get started. Um, tell me, what is anesthesia? Well, Andy, anesthesia is what makes patients comfortable and unaware during surgery. Your anesthesiologist will use medications to cause a temporary loss of awareness and sensation. The anesthetic is administered. The patient sleeps throughout the case, and then they wake up in the recovery room with a new joint. Great. Patients often talk about the two types of anesthetics, general and spinal. Can you talk a little bit about what is a general anesthetic? Sure. Um, general anesthesia is a mixture of medications that provides a pain-free surgery uh, and without any recall. The, medica the anesthetic medications are given through the IV and through the breathing circuits, uh, and it is a painless experience, and the patients drift off into sleep, um, and it renders the patient totally unaware, and they feel nothing during the surgery. The medications are dosed to wear off at the end of the surgery, uh, and timed to do so, so that the patient wakes up in the recovery room and they have a new joint. Great. And then, can you talk a little bit about a spinal anesthetic and how it differs? Sure. So a spinal anesthetic is a type of anesthesia where the patient is sedated, and then the lower body is numbed through a small injection in the back. Now we take special precautions to make sure that the patient is very comfortable while we inject this medication. We also numb up the area before we do the injection, and it is actually a very small injection. The patient becomes numb from the waist down, um, and once we know that the, the, the spinal anesthetic is working and they're totally numb, we actually give them uh, deep sedation throughout the case so that they are unaware of anything going on during the surgery. And how is the choice of anesthetic made? Well, anesthetic uh, choice is, is made after consultation with the anesthesiologist. In most patients, there's actually no difference in risk. Uh, and both general anesthesia and spinal anesthesia have similar safety profiles. On a rare occasion, there are certain medical conditions that would make one more preferable than the other. Can you give me an example for each one? So, for, exa for example, in patients who are heavy smokers who have, or who have emphysema or respiratory problems, generally a spinal anesthetic is safer than a general anesthetic. Conversely, in patients who actually have certain cardiac conditions or heart valve conditions, a general anesthetic might be safer. But all this is generally well determined even before a patient comes to the hospital because they're seen by their doctors, they're evaluated by the surgeons, we do examinations and laboratory tests, and then the anesthesiologist is able to uh, interview the patient and put all this information together to make a correct choice for you. So it, it seems that in our practices, the anesthesiologist offers the option after an evaluation of the history and of the patient and will guide them to make appropriate decisions. Absolutely. Well, anesthesia is, the type of anesthesia that is chosen is dependent on a thorough evaluation that occurs before you even walk in the door to have surgery. So once the anesthesiologist is able to have this information, we are able to uh, compile it and help the patient decide what is best for them. Most of the time, most of the time again, there is really very little difference in safety, but patients have certain preferences. One thing that we also uh, look at is what patients have done well with in the past with prior surgeries, and that helps to be a tremendous guide for us in helping them choose. But the patient does participate with the anesthesiologist in making a choice. Great. Thank you.